Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, Warwick, here. And, uh, yeah. We, uh, just got a bunch of upgrades for our shinobi arm thingy. And we're gonna go back to the estate, because we just got a little shortcut that leaped back. And, uh, somebody mentioned, uh, like, uh, a very nice axe. So we're gonna go try to find that. Alright. Here we go. Should be no, no problem for the likes of us. There's this guy chilling. Just... Walking on by. No care in the world. Boom. Excuse me. Okie doke. Free 20 bucks right there. Why not? Oh, they can hear me running. You shoot an arrow into the wall? Silly. Okay, so we're back to where we were. So I've got this area to cover to my my right, and then I've got uh, a forward area to cover. Uh, let's get these guys out of the street like we did last time, and then we'll go take out this little area on the right first. Oh, and again, I'm gonna go for the armored guy first, because like this guy is gonna be a pushover. Boom! He's just gonna wave his little hand around. There we go. And then we had, oh, is that a guy just waiting there in the middle of the hallway? Waiting to get shanked from behind? Yes, I think that's exactly what that is. And wha-bang! Okay. So, what do we have in here? I wonder. Eavesdrop. On to the next one. But if there's what? any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many <laughs> times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your sick skull? Please, don't get angry at me, bro. I'm sorry, my school. <laughs> so, I guess these bandits have, uh, have a code. Don't steal from Buddha. Well, it's not gonna save them, but, uh, <laughs> I love how they call for help. Because, I mean, I mean, yes, sometimes it might help them out, but not this time, and not most times. This usually just means I'm going to go and stab them even faster. Oh, there you go. Put your guard down for even just a second, and I'll come trample you. What's this? Light coin purse. Yes, indeed. So, what is this uh, temple that you're not stealing from? Can I steal? What's up? What's going on? Oh, hello. Shinobi Axe of the Monkey! A heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic tool to become a working prosthetic tool. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favorite weapon of Shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of Sunken Valley, it was lost along with his left arm. That's awesome. I'm so glad those guys didn't burn this place down. Dude, Mang, I gotta go equip this real quick. Here we go. Alright. I wanna equip this axe. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, how you feeling? Still dying, huh? Alright. Present Shinobi prosthetic. Loaded axe. Strength of the loaded axe lies in its heft. One strike can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters or shred an enemy's posture. I like it. I actually have too many tools now. Uh, I guess let's take off the firecracker thing for now then, because it seems stupid, I guess is the word. Oops, didn't mean to waste my gourd thing. Whatever. Uh, what button changes my prosthetic? There we go. Oh, I see. This is very reminiscent of, uh, of, uh, uh, Bloodborne at this point. The trick weapon. Uh, let's go talk to that old lady real quick while we're at it, too. Alrighty. Uh, hey lady! Can I- can I get some of your blood? Yeah, protect young master. I gotcha. 
Take coughed up blood sample. blood sample. I think she just coughed me up some fresh stuff. Blood sample of the dragon rod victim contains stagnated blood. And we can use this to find a cure for dragon rod. Yeah, let's go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey, Emma. I got some coffee. Coughed up blood for you. Oh, coughed up blood for you. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Oh, yeah? I've obtained one. A blood sample. Let me see. The coloration is very similar to the sculptor's. The color is just slightly tainted. But yeah. what's this? Hmm. Huh. Do you have enough blood? I believe so. Allow me to continue my research into the dragon rot. When of course. we speak again, it's likely I'll have made a breakthrough. In well, that'd fact, be nice. Count on it. Oh, well then I will. Goodbye. What if I just go rest? How about that? Does that make it happen? I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I am asleep now. Now I'm awake. Hey, did you fix it? I've been waiting for you. Sweet. Progress. Yes, I found some answers. The source of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. In my blood? The stagnation. The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then okay. you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but. It must draw on power from another source. Ah. Those that have the dragon rod? I believe so. For those who have the dragon rod, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Oh, the gosh. Stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes. By giving back what has been taken. Here you are. What? Dragon Blood's Droplet, an item that is rarely dropped by a divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Using it will slightly increase resurrective power. Restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with the recovery charm in hand. In turn, all afflicted with the dragon rot will be healed. The incessant coughing must cease. A dragon rot recovery charm created by Emma. With this charm, one can offer a dragon's blood droplet at a sculptor's idol to restore all afflicted with dragon rot back to health. The charm contains a dragon rot victim's blood, which Emma managed to purify and solidify into a blood stone. Oh yeah, this is definitely the prequel to Bloodborne. <laughs> the recovery charm allows dragon rot sufferers to be healed from her sculptors. The dragon's blood droplet can be consumed to heal dragon rot from all those afflicted. Doing so will cause all the rot essence to disappear, returning the chances of receiving unsane aid to the default value. Nice. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Are you? You glad? Glad I came? Goodbye. So I just have that one droplet, right? So if I use that, Dragon Rot re Restoration. The Dragon Rot Restoration menu is now unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol. Consuming a Dragon's Blood Droplet will restore health to all those afflicted. But how many of those do I get? Restore afflicted. Yeah, I mean, let's do it. I gotta heal everyone. Oh, that's pretty. All afflicted with the dragon rot restored to health. Well, that's good news then. Uh, how do I get more? It seems the sculptor's dragon rot has been cured. Yes. Please, give this to him. Sure. Ashinasake. A bottle of Ashinasake given by Emma. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. While it does not contain water from the fountainhead, it is made of the purest of waters and is a drink beloved by the people of Ashina. What is it? It's his favorite tea. I huh. thought it would be a fitting way to celebrate his return to health. It's a bottle of sake. Hey, bud, you want this? So, you're back. Was that a dream? Or was it real? Oh, the memory. Mm -hmm. Whether it was a dream or it was reality, I have no idea. There is one thing I can tell you. The What's that? Buddha has seen fit to awaken old memories within you. What you felt, what you remembered, that is what it all depends upon. I'm not ah. sure if what I saw is what truly happened. That's how it works. Okay. Uh, let's give him a drink, shall we? I 
want some tea. Mm. This tea mm -hmm. smells pretty good. Suppose I'll have some. I like how it doesn't oh, sound yeah, like that. these in the quotations. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. About Lady Emma's father. Dogen. He was an extraordinary doctor. He was oh, yeah? also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. I've seen his name around. He was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. He didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. Uh, and we could say that you owe him your life as well. Possibly. When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing, which has now become your left arm. The first version was a complete failure. Didn't you got his arm go. back? So he remade it. Oh, it's and just he gone. And remade it again and again countless times. <laughs> what? He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly. So Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys. After you guys known each other a while. Training of that sort. It came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His I see. Legacy. Oh, so much time has passed. While I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone I could not bear to abandon. Makes sense. No matter what I do, thus your uh, I've already talked to you about that. Another time, I'll lend you shelter anytime. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Well, cool. I guess we found out a lot of cool, interesting stuff today. Anything else you want to talk about? Nope. All right. So I got my unseen aid back, so that's great. And everyone's cured again, so that's great. Uh, I guess let's go talk to the old lady one more time and see if that affected her. Oh, I mean, I'm sure it did, but maybe I'll get a reward for healing him up. Hey, old lady's back up on her feet. What's up? How you doing? Inosuke, my son. Have you offered the bell charm to Buddha? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my son. You really are a sweet boy. That's me. Your, your son. A sweet boy. Inosuke, have you yeah. Oh, no, no prizes. All right. What about you, sir? I wanted to thank you for humoring my mother. That You're welcome. That troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently something about offering it to Buddha. Yeah, I did that, sir. I wanted that she kept... That's it. Aw, oh, dang. In all, have you yeah. all right. Well, I guess that's done. Um, I did never did find out what was over there. I guess I can try to find out now. Oop. Get away from the cannon. The inevitable bing bang boom of the guns. Well now I get over that guy. Oop, here we go. Boom, sucker! Whoa! Okay, sure. Oh, I hit him. Here we go. Oh, yeah! Antidote powder. A powerful antidote concocted by the Sunken Valley Clan. Black gunpowder. Black grains forming the base for gunpowder. Martial a material used in alchemical prosthetic tool upgrades. Oh, upgrades, including those of an explosive and occultic nature. Even with the most mundane form of gunpowder, has a wide variety of applications. I can upgrade my freaking tools? That sounds wonderful. Why on earth? Are there things to stand on back here? All that does is make me wonder. Secrets? <laughs> Mibu Possession Ball. Secrets indeed. Oh, like a grave down here. Memorial service. Mibu possession balloon. Cool. Are they still following me up there? Kind of sounds like it. 
Scrap iron. Iron dregs mined in Ashina. Widely used for basic reinforcement, it can serve as a base material for pros prosthetic tool upgrades. Ashina is burdened with thick snow and infertile land, but the scrap iron dug from her soil is anything but crude. Awesome. I'm getting beefy. I'm getting beefy. Okay, so that's it for that little area, huh? Seems that way. Well, I don't want to accidentally die trying to make that jump that I can't make, so... How close do I got to get to that thing? There we go. Yeah! And then up! This is the front door. I, I can just open it now? No, I can't. It's an unopenable door. These are all the dudes that I murdered last time. Just chillin'. Whoop. Boom! Oh yeah, isn't that just scary, man? Aren't you just wondering why that just happened? Ouch. Maybe you aren't. Maybe you're just gonna kill me instead. Whoop. <laughs> I just deflected both of them. That was awesome. Die, suckers. Give me all your money. I'm freaking like out of health and stuff already though. I should probably take it easy. Uh, let's pop a pellet. Yum, yum, yum. All right, yeah, so that's the other side of the door. Is there more secrets over here? What is this? Oh, this is just the other side of that secret from earlier, I think. Nothing I can do here. Or over there. So then we'll just head on back. You guys just like lighting fires just all over the place. Dude, how many more are there? Oh, there's a Buddha statue. That's good. Uh, that's just a chicken. I don't need to worry about that. Alright, so then I still need to get inside of this hut. The heck is that? Oh, I think it's just more shurikens or whatever. More little mana guys. And uh, that's the little side path I could have jumped to from earlier. So, okay. Sure. There's nobody on the ground? Guess not. And all this is closed and locked. Can't do anything with it. Okay. So then I guess that's it for that. We'll move around to this side and... Hang around on the tall grass. Oh. Hey, it's that guy from earlier. What's up, man? Ah, uh, I know you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> from three years ago. Good Sir Shinobi, sir. Well, I haven't seen you since. Well, since that night. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You don't remember? Oh, I remember. You don't remember. Hmm. Listen, sir, you and I, we've met before. I was a uh, yeah. back then. <laughs> but those days are behind me. Now, I'm an upright and honest merchant. Only Selling all the stuff you stole. I'm broke. Being broke, I don't have anything to sell. So, good sir, would you mind lending me just a few <laughs> coins to get my business going? I'll do yeah. something useful just for you. <laughs> you bet I will. And as a little bonus, I'll tell you all about that night. Sure. Think? Pretty good deal, right? <laughs> How much do you want? Purchase information for 50 sen. Yeah, sure. Here's some coin. <laughs> Thanks, good sir. Now talk. Yes, 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 of course. That night. <laughs> so my gang broke into the Harata estate. 
Now, as you're aware, the Hirata family is part of the Ashina. Now, normally they'd mop the floor with petty thieves like us. I mean, no sweat. Right. But it just so happens we broke in during a battle. Yeah. Almost all the young samurai were away from home. It oh. Was a prime opportunity. Then we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That there's when I met you. I remember. You we were looking for something. At least that's what it looked like to me. Well, that's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah. Uh, that <laughs> uh, look you're making now. Uh, you had that same look on your face that night. You <laughs> looking for something? Yeah, kinda. Listen. <laughs> Good sir. For a price, I might be able to tell you some other tidbits you might find useful. Now, for a price, of course, I'm a, a merchant now, you know. So. It's just an information broker. Purchase information. Pay 100 sen? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll buy some information. Thank you very much for your patronage. Hmm. So, so what's you got? A shinobi, I'll give you some information about shinobi tools. If you sure. Can. Now, I've seen this tube. A tube with fire blasting up. Uh, I already have that. When we broke into the Harata estate, one of my pals nabbed one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound the fire makes when it blasts out. Flame barrel memo. A tattered note written by Anayama seems to be from some years ago. Lucrative info number 36. When we broke into Harada estate, we found a barrel that spewed flame. The boys lit a roaring bonfire with it and made merry with the drink. Must have been Shinobi's have tools. One. I'll tell you that. <laughs> what? I said I already have one. Ah, ah. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> That one's on me. Oh, I get my money back? Sick! Plain oil. When the jar breaks, the oil covers everything nearby. Enemies doused in oil are easily set alight. I'll even take additional fire. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I actually got my money back. What is this? What's from Hirata? I must pay my respects. Uh-oh. Lord Kuro. Lady it's the Lord. Are there other Hirata survivors? There are very few of us. Apologies. There's no end to those who seek the dragon's heritage. This I guess. Fate. Because of those that pursued me. I didn't mean to involve them. Uh, remnant, huh? And now all these animals are all dead? And it's your fault, Lord Kuro! No, I'm just kidding. I don't know that. Uh, I need to get up there. No, up there, I said. Uh. Thank you. Uh. Don't jump off the world. Alright, I'm gonna see what's up here. There's always secrets. Always secrets everywhere. I've already been to this side. Uh, nothing of interest. Okay. And then, uh, we'll go back around this way. And then, we've got some guards, finally. Yeah, I see some. No, I didn't want you yet. I wanted to get you after I'm done throwing shurikens everywhere. Oh, well. Uh, so then, if we just get around this side, we should be able to catch those guys by surprise. And steal all their loot. What the hell was that noise? That's very weird sounding. I, don't feel oh, I can eavesdrop. Big bastard just tied up next to us. Big bastard tied up next to us? Before the war begins. Ah, it's the worst happens. Only choice is to use fire. So use fire. Red eyes for your fire. Well, I definitely don't want you guys being around in a sec here when I kill everyone. So I'm just gonna kill you first, then you second. There we go. 
Whoa, I see. That big guy, huh? Hmm. That does look like a problem. I would I would agree with you there. That doesn't look like something I'd really want to mess with. So, I mean, you know I'm gonna. More secrets? More reason to be out here? No? Not at all? Crazy hidden path? Oh, this is just how to get here from the back way? Ah, yeah, like if I was climbing all that stuff still. No items down there, right? Don't see any. Yeah. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. I want to get over there. I need a rocket jump. I need some rocket boots. Alright. Uh, I want to check that out, but I'm going to get myself killed if I try, so I won't. Now I will. Okay, anything cool? I'm looking. I don't see anything though. Good to know. Heading on back. Uh, how do I get back? Okay. <laughs> so I need fire. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want you to see me. Can I? Can I sneak up on you? What if I can get up this mountain? I don't see a way to. Dang. Alright, I guess I have to go in front of this dude. Uh-oh. Chained ogre. Okay, here he comes. Hi. Hello. Grab attacks. Grab attacks cannot be deflected. There's no way to avoid taking serious damage once grabbed. Enemy grab attacks can be evaded with a well-timed step dodge. Or I can just slash him in the face with freaking fire magic, huh? Okay, doke. Oh no! That thing auto-killed me? Jesus! I need health. I don't have any health left. I see. Okay! What?! No way! I even dodged! That's dumb! Alright, fine. You can take it. You can keep it. Because we're at the end of the episode anyways. Thank you so much for joining me. And it looks like we got our first, uh... Um, I don't know, maybe first difficult boss fight since we started Sekiro. So that'd be really, really cool. If you wanna, if you wanna see, uh, what should be an awesome death compilation, hopefully, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you're having fun. You can also, uh, reach me on Twitter, on Discord, the description's down below, if you wanna chat with me outside of these vids. And that's it for today, everybody. Good game.